Hey dolls, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is called Tabitha Giselle. If you are joining for the first time, then thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoy the content that I create on my channel. Do give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe because it helps me um, so, so much. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning and thank you so much for your support. In today's video, guys, I am going to be doing a, a new and another first impression on a makeup product that I literally have recently purchased and it is the Laura Mercier. This is the translucent, um, this is the translucent loose setting powder and this is the ultra blur um, powder. I've used Laura Mercier, the original one, before in the past and I really, really loved the Laura Mercier powder. And I saw this um, whilst I was on Cult Beauty and decided um, to show you guys me using it for the first time and just giving you sort of my take on how the powder is because I love doing makeup reviews for you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go into what the product claims and it also shares the technique that you can follow as well. I'll share that with you in case you might want to um, know that. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So guys, let's jump straight into the claims of what the product um, claims that it does. So it says the iconic translucent loosing set powder, which is now talc free with ultra blurring power, which is awesome. This truly translucent powder sets makeup for 16 hours of weightless wear with a matte soft focus finish, which I love, infused with ultra blurring ingredients like amino acid and silica powder blend. Laura's new formula instantly blurs away the look of pores, um, fine lines and imperfections with a total um, shine control and zero photo flashback so that's something i will definitely test out for you guys to see because sometimes um powders can say that they have zero photo flashback and then you actually take a flash um picture and it doesn't turn out to be the case so i will definitely leave um a picture here for you guys to see on whether it did live up to that then it goes straight into um the technique so it says saturate the Velour puff with powder. I'm assuming the velour puff is like the powder, the powder puff that it comes with, but mine doesn't come with that, so I'm just going to use my regular um, beauty blender. So it says saturate velour puff with powder, work powder into puff by folding and rubbing the halves together, tap off any excess, press puff onto skin using a rolling motion to set the powder to set the makeup sorry the law puff sold separately so yeah it is sold separately so if you do want to try the velour puff then definitely purchase it but i didn't purchase it because yeah i just didn't so i'm just going to use my beauty blender and show you guys what it looks like maybe when i purchase the velour puff i can always do a video setting it and show you guys what that application is like and just see whether there's any difference but really and truly um, a blending a beauty blender of any kind should be perfect as long as it's great then it's going to be amazing but yeah this is so guys this is what the box looks like for the laura mercier it looks like they've gone for a new um look the box is like a beigey sort of um neutral color which i absolutely love because i love neutral um and i just like the detail of how they've written their um you know product name and the brand name sorry and what it is it just looks really sleek and straight to the point and then i'm going to open it up and show you guys what the little makeup container looks like for the powder so this is how it looks like it's just a neutral um, nice lid and it just says Laura Mercier as you guys can see and then I just love how the bottom part of the container is just this matte um, look and finish to it it's just really really nice um, and then this is what the powder looks like so what I'm going to do now is actually do my makeup 
set um do my concealer and then set my concealer to show you guys what it looks like but i just wanted to give you a feel of what the actual product looks like this is in the shade translucent i will check and see whether they do have other um shades of the powder and list those in the description box in case one of you might want to know that info but um yeah this is what it looks like and i'm going to move on straight on to makeup so guys i've just put my foundation and concealer i know i look a bit ghostly and my eyebrows look dark but trust me it's all going to come together um at the end but i'm just going to open up the powder now and go in and place and set that concealer because it is going to start moving any minute now um, so what I tend to do with my powder is that I just put some excess of the powder onto the lid and then just go in and take it from the lid and then apply directly to those areas that we're setting. So I've just got a damp sponge here. I'm actually just going to pre-blend those areas before going in with the powder. because I want everything to look nicely set and put together. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and then when I apply onto the um, under eyes, I'm just going to sort of do a rolling motion and set that into place. So this is what it looks like close up. I'm just gonna go in with some more powder because I do not want to have makeup that's cracking or anything like that. So this is what it looks like close up. Now I'm just going to apply my contour and then I'm gonna dust off the lower part of my face and just my forehead and then leave the rest to sort of settle in as I finish the rest of my makeup so I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like so guys I just thought about it I'm just going to dust off all the powder and show you guys what it looks like before I do the rest of my makeup because that might take a bit of time And I thought you might want to see it before I apply the rest of my makeup just to see what it looks like. I do not know why my eyebrows are looking like that but we'll go with that for now and we'll sort them out. So it's really really nice. I like that it's easily blendable. This is what it, it looks like. I like how it looks like. It does give this like blurred out effect underneath my eyes and I don't know whether that's just like how I'm feeling like because I know that it's a blurred powder but it really does look very like smooth underneath my eyes which i absolutely love because you guys know that i have not been having the best sleeping habits so having something that blurs out and gives that illusion is just really really nice but yeah i really like what it looks like so far um it just looks really seamless and it doesn't look too cakey as well it feels very light um, on the skin and 
I think I can tell the difference in terms of it being talc free because I find that powders that do have talc in them they do make me sneeze quite a lot but I didn't get that feeling when I applied this on um, it just felt very very smooth very weightless so yeah so far so good guys so guys this is the finished look of with the powder and the rest of the makeup on i love how it looks like it just looks so smooth it looks like my skin has been airbrushed but you can still see like a little bit of the texture of my skin which is so normal i feel like um you still want to have a bit of texture because you want your face to still look human like but i just love the smoothness underneath my eyes specifically it just looks so so seamless i will show you guys what the makeup look looks like at the end of the day and also i will show you what it looks like with flash on i'll take a picture and show you what the flashback looks like and whether it actually lives up to the zero um flashback claims that it you know it said on the box but now i'm just going to spritz my makeup because i haven't done that because i've been waiting to do this for you guys to see on camera what it looks like once i've spritzed my makeup spray but so far so good guys i i really love what my makeup looks like it just looks so pretty and so stunning so guys this is the end of the video i really enjoyed trying out this product it is amazing i highly recommend if you want a new powder and you don't know what to go for definitely try this and give it a go i will put my pictures up like i've mentioned at the end of the day and also testing out the flash as well and the flashback if there is any but i really enjoyed reviewing this product i always love re reviewing products and having a success in reviewing products um, i will list it in the description box below do leave me your comments and also suggestions if you want me to try out any other new products out on the market but for now love you guys and i will see you in my next one bye dolls Mwah. bye